Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the PackSafe Go Anti-Theft 34 liter backpack, which I've been testing for two weeks. Let's dive in. So this carry-on backpack is made from RPET 600D recycled polyester, which is a long way of saying it's recycled materials and it takes about 28 plastic bottles out of the environment. Yay! Um, this is the jet black colorway, but you can also get it in, I think it's called Fresh Mint, which is like a blue green with some yellow accents, or Rose, which is pink. And, but all of them have this, this brown accent panel at the bottom, which I don't know if they're going for a heritage vibe and making it look like it should be a leather bottom or what. I don't know, it's not really my thing, but maybe it's yours. It's a style choice. Different strokes make the world go round, right? So we do have the nice PackSafe logo here, which is, you know, sort of unobtrusive, but looks nice. And then looking around this bag at some of the uh, features. We have YKK zippers and of course it's pack safe so they all have locking mechanisms. This front compartment one they go through this little zip tab which is basically you just sort of pull them through so that you see somebody can't easily undo them and they're pretty easy to open out of there you just sort of slide it up and then pull them out. I say it's easy but I have dexterity issues sometimes. There we go. So that's not too hard. Um, We'll get into it a little bit more, but I have more issues with the main compartment zipper. Just it's it's a good lock. So when you're traveling and you don't want somebody to get out, get at it, it is a very nice lock. Um, I think this one's called the zip clip. And, but it's hard to undo. Uh, there you go. So you do that. But then if you don't want to use it, it just sort of pops back into this little pocket, which is nice. So that's good. While we're over here, we have some Duraflex buckles on the compression straps, and then there's just adjustable ones over here, which can sort of block the water pocket access. There's a carry handle for the side, a luggage pass-through on the back, and a thinner carry handle at the top to hang it on a hook. Now that we're back here, let's talk about the harness system, which for a 34 liter backpack, to me is a little bit lacking. You have, you know, okay padding on the shoulder straps and they're sort of curved to contour around your body. And then there's okay padding on the back panel. You'll see we have no breathable mesh. And also, I don't know if you can kind of tell, like whatever you pack inside is what you're gonna feel against your back because it just, it lacks a ton of structure, which sometimes I'm here for and sometimes not so much. And this is one of those not so much times because it just sort of flops around and you gotta be really careful, we'll see when we get it inside, as to how you pack it so that it's more comfortable. There is a security feature down here, it's called the turn and lock, so you can, uh, do that and then nobody can open this little you like sort of turn this tab and nobody can open uh, this clip and then that allows you to sort of snap it around um, a fixed object if you have to walk away also both straps have carry safe slash guard so nobody can cut through similar to i did fail to mention the outside is protected with an exo mesh slash guard so nobody can cut through the outside of your bag so how you feel about the fit of this bag ha will have a lot to do with how tall you are and your body type. So shorter users like myself find, you can see it's sort of hitting all the way down my mid rear, which is not super comfortable, especially when I had something stiffer in there or shoes, which I mean, if you're going on vacation, you're gonna bring some shoes, you know, um, 
in there, whereas taller users here at Pack Hacker did not find that so much of an issue. No matter what though, we do all agree that it is not the most comfortable harness system we've ever encountered. And there are no load lifters, sternum straps, waist belts, anything to help support the load. So it's all on your shoulders. The look is casual, but it can lean towards a little bit saggy. So that all depends how you pack it. So before we go in the front pocket, there is on the opposite side of the side that has the nicer carry handle, there is a water bottle pocket, but you can see the compression straps kind of block it. Now you can loosen them up in order to slide your bottle in, excuse me while I grab it. But no matter what, like it's still, you can see it's, it's hard to get it loose enough to fully take advantage of the whole pocket. It's, it's possible, it just requires effort and then it still just doesn't, like it doesn't really hold it in place down there at the bottom. It sort of manages to almost squeeze your bottle out. I don't know. And then at the top here, you know, it's nice sometimes when you have compression straps, you can sort of run them through the handle of your water bottle to keep it in place because you can see there's a lot of play here because you could fit a wider bottle in here depending on what you have packed inside. But here, because they're just adjusters, you can't feed it through. You can use a carabiner to like clip it to that strap, but if it was a buckle, you could just feed it through. So that was an issue I had. I just didn't really love this water bottle pocket because it didn't hold my bottle as securely as I would have hoped. Setting this aside though, let's go into the front compartment, which opens basically uh, just a little horseshoe here. You are sort of blocked on the left-hand side by the tab that locks things in place, but it's not too bad. We have 150D recycled polyester liner here. And then, so there's an RFID blocking pocket. That's another nice security feature for either, I've got a wallet in here, or you could slide your passport, whatever it is you want to protect from digital thieves. And then we just have a couple of other slip pockets. Um, there's a larger one here, which I've got my phone in there because there's no other exterior pockets. So unless you're rocking a sling or something, which I definitely would recommend, frankly, because there's not a lot of pockets. Um, but this is like the only place you have to put your personal items. And then there's another slip pocket here, which is a good size for either a cord or a mouse, something like that, a pen pocket. And then there is a key leash here so that you can have them very nice and handy, especially because I'm gonna show you, this pocket goes all the way down to the front. So like, I've got my glasses here. I toss them in, they're all the way down here at the, at the front. Now, that being said, there's no laptop compartment or anything in this travel backpack, but if you have like a 13 inch device, that was a comfortable size for me. If you have a 13 inch, I have a MacBook and I put it in a protective case because it's just gonna be flopping around. You can slide it in here. Like if you need to bring your laptop with you, you can slide it in here. And like this pocket is slightly raised off the bottom. Plus it is slightly padded. Obviously it's got that exo mesh slash guard, which you can feel if you press here. So it will be pretty protected here, but I don't know. Sometimes people don't like having the laptop right on the front of the bag. That said, you're gonna see really soon, these are the only pockets you have to work with on this bag. So if you need to use the space, that's how you're gonna to need to use it. So if you are finding this video helpful, go ahead and click those like and subscribe buttons so we can keep bringing you content like this to help you travel smarter. But now let's get into the main compartment. Um, I'm gonna show you that, that zip clip a little more and sorry if it's sort of upside down, but this is the only way I can manage to do it. So if you did want to do it, you want to first of all have these front compartment ones out of the way. Let me shove those down. Sorry, it's probably like watching paint dry. Um, there we go. But this is really hard. I don't know, I found it hard to do. Obviously it's possible, but it's just tricky. There's 
and you may want to, there are holes in the, in the zippers that you could just slide your own lock through. I don't know if you can see, there you go. So you could just do that if that's easier for you. But if you wanted to use the zip clip, um, you gotta do it one at a time and sort of wind it through those holes in the, in the zipper pulls one at a time and just sort of wedge them through and then that's how you do it, okay? So now you're going to have to, once again, go one at a time to get them out because you can't do them both at once. I tried a lot, just is what it is. The main compartment, however, once you undo the zip clip and you undo these compression straps, it does open nice and fully clamshell, just like a suitcase. However, unlike a suitcase, we have really flexible floppy sides here which make it difficult to pack. And like there's no extra pockets on the inside here. I kind of missed that. There's, there's no other organization unless I somehow miss something, but we'll find out, right? But I, I mean, I looked and looked and looked. I, re I really wanted more pockets or something. That's just me. You do have these nice compression straps that adjust from each side and there's just a nice buckle. They, they sort of attach to the bottom here. So whether you have packing cubes in here, which is probably a better call than just throwing clothes in, but um, just to sort of show you how it worked out, um, you know, you can pack your clothing in here and then the compression straps sort of hold everything in place. And they do a good job and they're definitely something you want to use to sort of keep, keep everything together while you're walking around, but you can sort of see it's just flopping out. So that makes it so, it can be easy to overpack. It can just be hard to like pack period when you're when you're loading things up, the, the sides just sort of keep on falling on you. I don't know how to explain it, but um, it's just, I don't know. I, I like a little more structure, just a little more. So that's what you're dealing with on the inside here. And then you will also like, I don't have any shoes in here or a laptop, but obviously like you're not gonna wanna put those against the back panel. You're gonna wanna put softer gear against the back panel, which then might mean that like you, if you want your laptop inside, not on the front compartment, in a protective case, it's gonna have to go here. If you're gonna add shoes, they're gonna have to go here. Like your toiletry bag, if you're gonna have liquids, you're gonna wanna put those in the front pocket so that they're easier for you to get out if you have to pull them out at TSA because there's no other way to do that. It just, it's not as easy to use as other pack, uh, travel backpacks that I've used before. However, if you're going for the security features and you like the sustainability of the recycled materials, it might be right for you and it's definitely not the worst. So just what is it you prioritize? Do you like your own do-it-yourself organization? Then this will be just fine for you. So there you have it. The PackSafe Go 34 liter carry-on backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.